Okay, welcome to the Bookmap Platform Details webinar. A uh, risk disclaimer, trading equities involves uh, and futures involves substantial risk of loss and is not suitable for all investors. Past performance is not indicative of future results. For more information, you can go to bookmap.com, uh, become a member. Uh, you have access to the free resources uh, and then, um, uh, or free trial, I should say. Uh, and uh, then you uh, can reach it out to us at support at bookmap.com. Okay, so um, the free resources, uh, what I'm talking about in becoming a member, you have to be in trial. Um, so uh, that's the um, the issue. Uh, uh, and uh, it's, a, it's a free trial. It's 14 days. Uh, I think uh, some of you guys are looking at the uh, list here of the attendees uh, are already in trial. Um, and uh, you're here in the platform details webinar. That's good. Uh, we're going to go through this. This webinar is open for everybody. Okay. The um, the next webinar that starts in about uh, 26 minutes, uh, that webinar goes through the order flow details. Okay. It is for people that are already up to speed with the platform details, with understanding um, the uh, the interface, uh, what Bookmap is showing them, etc. Uh, but uh, where the um, learning really takes place is in the next webinar and that's for either current customers or those in trial who don't have platform questions or at least relatively few i should say okay so this is just an introduction here we will get into the order flow as well at the end of this webinar uh, but uh, we're just going to show the basics uh, how to get up and running here uh, and um, and what book map is showing you OK, and uh, just keep it really simple, uh, but uh, it will get advanced. All right. So. Um, all right. Let's so so let's uh, let's do that here. Um, in fact, let me take a quick look at uh, candlestick chart, higher time frame. And because uh, we just had oil inventories. Uh, yeah, let's go over it. Let's I mean, uh, the stock, the. Uh, uh, you know, the all indexes have been on just, you know, on fire at all time highs yet again. But, yeah, let's cover oil. Um, I, I want to take a look at uh, the um, a fundamental release. And so you guys get uh, a little bit of insight on what that is showing you uh, or how Bookmap is showing you that. OK. Wow. OK. Big wall of liquidity here uh, as we move up higher on the S&P. Let's take a look at where is my oil. OK. I'm on the X. Oh, I might be a little a little early on the X contract here. Okay. Hmm. Um, and uh, yeah, then if that's the case, then uh, maybe it is better to uh, to take a look at uh, at the S and P. All right. So, but uh, here here's the fundamental release right here at 10:30. Okay, oil inventories. I uh, just want to show this because it's really interesting stuff. And this is just how these markets work. Uh, you can see the liquidity here in the heat map. Okay? And I'm going to cover all this in detail, so don't, don't worry about that. Um, but look how uh, right before here, 10, 10, 29 and 30 seconds, right around here, the, this area here starts to go dark. Okay, They start pulling liquidity here. They start pulling some liquidity up in this area here. Actually, some of it remains, so uh, they actually pulled up a little bit higher here. But my point is, uh, when you pull liquidity, well, the next trade that's going to take place is where there is li liquidity. And uh, usually, uh, you see just beautiful bounces here um, between areas of high liquidity uh, on a, um, a fundamental release. All right? uh, it depends on the expectations of that uh, release, uh, economic release. But um, we can see that uh, they pulled liquidity and they started to add back in um, a little bit later, uh, about uh, 20 seconds later, to be honest. Uh, so uh, not much of a release here for at least the X contract. And uh, might be a little early on that one. Um, but anyway, you can see they came up in, uh, uh, into this area of high liquidity here at 49.30 or 31 or 2 uh, and uh, remained in the book and they got filled up here. Okay. Anyway, uh, let's move on. Let's take a look at the S&P. All right. Okay. Uh, here's our 930 open down here. Uh, and um, I'm going to just simplify this. So uh, and answer any questions that you guys have, we're going to put a candlestick chart up. 
I'm going to take off all of these other layers of information uh, that Bookmap is showing. Okay, I'm going to start with the basics. All right, so we're looking at a five-minute candlestick chart. Okay, in the S&P E-mini, uh, we can see the uh, the buying here. We see the tails uh, and the wicks and the bodies here. Uh, we can see the breakout to the upside here. Uh, and then uh, kind of now it's slowing down and we, we see a little bit uh, of, of selling pressure starting to come in here, uh, but it still has a, an upward um, trend going. Uh, so um, uh, the candlestick chart is good. Um, I mean, I, I don't mind it. I don't have anything against it. Uh, I just think that it lacks a lot of transparency uh, and uh, it, it certainly does. Let's just be objective about it. There are only four data points here for a five minute period open, high, low, and close. And that's it. We do have no idea where transactions took place. I mean, we have a volume sub chart here, uh, but we don't know um, uh, what kind of volume it was. Uh, we don't know where that volume took place within this five minute period. Uh, we don't have any idea of any sort of microstructure in here. And we don't know um, uh, the size of, of that volume, okay? so. Just to get an understanding of the microstructure, I'm going to turn on the first layer of data, and that is the historical best bid and offer. All right, so now I have a little more clarity here. Uh, I can start to understand uh, little little structures here, this sideways uh, structure here. And in fact, it, that, that kind of shows relatively well here in the candlestick chart. Uh, but where does it not? Okay, I would say maybe here. Uh, we can see that... Um, the, um, uh, the the structure here is, um, and, and also here, maybe this is even a better example, some sideways action. We see the tap to the initial move to the downside and then a nice move to the upside. And this structure here, okay, uh, is um, uh, we are now trading and accepting above it. Okay, I can put in a horizontal line here uh, in book map. And this is what I mean, all right? And, um, Let's see, the, uh, the candlestick chart shows some of that, but it does not show uh, the, um, uh, this, this type of, uh, uh, of structure here. Or um, the, um, God, you know, it's actually doing not a bad job today. I mean, I see nice little areas of uh, consolidation. Uh, and um, so, yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, so it's not, not so bad today for the candlestick chart. Um, However, there's a little areas. Okay, I, I guess I can I can zoom in here and we can take a look at this. Uh, now this is very microstructural, all right? But we do see it, all right? So let's uh, let's take a look here. Look at this little consolidation range here. Okay. Okay. If we go across, if I bring that across as well, uh, it kind of um, a based up here, and then we see selling came in. Okay, I mean, I don't see the volume here, but we see it in the move to the downside. We came back up and tested this little structural area and just based sideways. We did not come back up here again, okay, until buyer stepped in, okay? And we're gonna see this with when I turn on the volume dots. We're gonna see uh, that the the aggressive um, uh, buyers, okay, market, market uh, buys uh, came in and pulled price up out of this structural range and we trade into a new structure, okay? And that new structure is here, okay? Uh, let me let me mark it up again. It is here, all right? This is what lacks in the candlestick chart. Uh, uh, this is just one aspect. Uh, it's kind of uh, muted. Uh, we don't really quite see it. Uh, and um, uh, But here, we see the microstructure, all right? Now, what about the volume? Where do the transactions take place? This is gonna give us a lot of insight to the order flow, okay? So let's turn on the volume dots and let me turn off the um, the drawing tools. All right, here we go, okay? Now we have a very good understanding of what's going on here in terms of the commitment of traders with their transactions. Okay, in fact, I'm gonna click on the studies configuration button here and these dots I'm gonna make a little bit smaller. All right, okay, what are these dots showing, okay, on the historical best bid and offer? Uh, a green dot is showing an aggressive market buy. A red dot is showing an aggressive market sell, 
Okay, so let's zoom into let's zoom into this little area we were uh, looking at before. Let's click on the hand tool. I'm going to hover over this area, and then to zoom in very quickly, I can just use my center mouse wheel, recenter it again, and then zoom in again. All right, and uh, let's remove all of these uh, drawings here. Okay, all right. So here's that little structure here that we were looking at. And we can see all of the transactions that took place on the historical best bid and offer. Okay, note that there's a pie display here. Uh, so many transactions took place there was both buying and selling in a big flurry of activity, like here. Okay, let's zoom into this area here. Okay, and I'm going to show you exactly what took place here. All right, so this is what took place. Look at the aggressive buying here, and look at how evenly it is distributed here. Okay, most likely algorithmic activity uh, lifting the offer here. All right, uh, and um, we can continue to zoom in. Look at how nicely spaced out it is. Uh, we're down at the microsecond level. Uh, this is the uh, a, a millionth of seconds. We can continue to zoom in. All right, and we can go down into uh, nanosecond level. There's basically unlimited zoom and book map. Okay, we're showing every single event. This trade here, I can use the rollover tool, I can hover over it and it and it gives me the date, the time down to the um, uh, nanosecond. Uh, and then it's also giving me the, uh, on the ask, the liquidity here, 273 contracts at 92 and a quarter. And it shows that this trade, this transaction, which was a market buy, okay, they crossed the spread, uh, they paid up, uh, and uh, hit the market buy button and took liquidity off of the best offer. I can see over here in my volume column, uh, this was for uh, one contract, which also uh, I can see here using the data tip tool. Okay, so that's an aggressive market buy. That's how we're displaying uh, volume is by the aggressor. If I zoom out, okay, um, and um, let's look at a sell here. Here, this is good. All right, so this is an aggressive market sell. Okay, they hit the market sell button for a volume of one. Okay, now as I zoom out, uh, you know, most of us are not trading at millisecond, nanosecond, you know, levels, whatever, but we give you the overall delta of that flurry of volume that took place. So here we can see this mostly aggressive buying. All right. We can just see that the pie display. I can hover over the dot and it gives me the overall uh, of that dot. It tells me 297 contracts traded here. Okay, so that's what uh, we're looking at at the volume. And let's put that into context of the candlestick chart. Okay, now we have a clear understanding of what type of volume uh, took place, uh, where, let's go zoom into this area again, uh, what type of volume, where, uh, and um, uh, the uh, uh, exactly when uh, and uh, so within this five minute candlestick here's our candlestick here okay um, we can uh, we can see let me zoom in a little bit more okay there that's a little bit better so we have one minute between each vertical dotted line uh, we can see exactly what unfolded this candlestick here okay this doji um, is uh, is showing me uh, uh, no volume uh, it doesn't really give you that insight. Here we have it. Okay. Here we have not only the volume, we have the microstructure. Okay. This is a tremendous advantage. Okay. We understand. Look how they hit the uh, hit the bid here. Okay. With the aggressive selling. Okay. Look up in these little areas up here. Okay. As it as it tested and pinged against this this uh, level at uh, 92 and a half. Okay. Where is the aggressive buying? We, we don't see them here up at this 92 and a half. We see them one tick lower uh, and they're trying to lift the offer, but there's uh, they're not taking all of the liquidity. So we just kind of base sideways for a bit. And right here, the aggressive sellers come in, uh, hit the bid uh, pretty hard, uh, hard enough uh, to drop it uh, about a point and a half or so. Okay, and we can see that activity. Okay. Are we going to accept or reject down below this microstructure? And we, we obviously accept. Okay, here's our retest of it a couple times. Again, sellers come in and take control here. Okay, 
So that's very microstructural, but we can read it, we see it, we're being very objective about it because we can see them hitting the bid, okay? Uh, and we get the overall shape of that, all right? So anyway, uh, now, uh, although they, um, uh, this little area here shows a, a bit of a downtrend, the overall structure, okay, a uh, bigger picture structure is showing bullish activity. Why is that? Because we, we come down and we test uh, uh, basically where we broke from here uh, at 90 and a half. Okay. And um, here uh, you can see that the, the, the lack of selling right here. Okay. Also in these little areas here, we don't see these big red dots taking place and pulling price down. All right, basically we're looking at exhaustion. I mean, there is some trading activity, so it didn't truly exhaust. Uh, but this is where, uh, and I, I was anticipating this to when I put the volume dots on, we're gonna see green dots pulling price up out of this area here, okay? Now they're back in, the buyers are back in, they're lifting the offer, uh, and we go above this 92 and a half area right here, and look at the time and acceptance and what type of volume is taking place up here. Okay. There's some selling for sure, no, no question. Uh, but um, uh, this looks pretty good here. Uh, and then uh, buyers, although there are sellers here, buyers step back in. Okay, and they certainly step back in once again here. Okay, lift the offer and uh, look for price discovery to the upside. Okay, none of that is within the candlestick. All right, many of you might be looking at a footprint chart, and footprint charts are great. The problem is with the footprint chart is that you're not going to get these microstructures. Okay. Why, why is that? Because it's just going to aggregate here in a five minute period. Okay. So you're not going to see that. You're not going to understand really what unfolded here uh, in the structure. All right. And that's an advantage here that Bookmap is, uh, is giving you. All right. So that's just the volume. Uh, and, um, and, and that's truly reading the, uh, the tape and the order flow here. Okay, now let's go back to the current market. Okay, and uh, yeah, we can see the sellers taking control yet again, and now we're also breaking structure. Okay, okay, we broke this one here, and uh, we're testing the bottom of this structure here. Okay, back to our level again, actually at 92. Okay, uh, and uh, we'll we'll get into reading this in just a sec, but uh, it's it's looking like. Um, uh, well, I mean, we get both buying and selling in here, okay? But um, uh, yeah, it's kind of an inflection here. Um, we'll, we'll, we'll read it in just a second. What I want to cover is in the current market, uh, we want to have a picture of the liquidity, okay? Where are traders lining up to buy and sell? That gives a lot of insight. That is your dome, your depth of market. Okay, so, um, and it's here in book map, it's in the columns, okay? I have my uh, price uh, ladder here, uh, and then this is right now current best bid and offer right here with the dashed green and red lines, and then this number is the last traded volume, okay? And this is my dome, okay? So this is best bid and offer here, and then here is my depth on the bid, and up to here is my depth on the offer. This is your lit book. Okay, it's live. Uh, this, when you see the numbers change in here, uh, these are traders adding and pulling liquidity. They're lining up to deal in this auction at these price levels. And that gives us a lot of insight. We, we start to understand like, uh, uh, you know, the, the pressure, uh, the intent of these traders uh, in the auction, uh, how interested they are, uh, where the market can trade, where there is liquidity. Um, what about the areas around it? We can start to read that too. Uh, we can see that the, you know, they kind of step it up in this little area here. Uh, and uh, we, it's, it's reflected as well uh, in the um, uh, dome here, a current order book as bars only, right? It's looking pretty even now. They're starting to even it out a little bit. Um, but um, uh, anyway, the snapshot of the current market activity is good. Uh, the uh, the problem with the dome is uh, you have to remember all of this data here, okay? This is 20 levels of data, uh, and uh, that's a lot to to ask. 
Uh, and those of you who uh, are experts at reading the dome, uh, you guys already understand this quite well. Uh, and um, you understand that uh, you're, you're just focusing in on the dome. Uh, you're looking at these areas of liquidity, how they're behaving. You have to remember the price level it was at, how long these guys stayed in here. What about the levels around it? Were they bidding or were they offering lower or were they uh, pulling liquidity and offering higher? That's pretty tedious and uh, uh, challenging to do over time. That's where Bookmap gives the advantage. It solves that issue because we, we will display the historical evolution of the dome. So let's turn on the heat map. Okay, and here it is. Okay, so the, remember when we started the webinar, we saw this wall of liquidity up here. Okay, uh, this is what gave us the insight uh, just uh, right in the beginning of the um, uh, of the webinar. And uh, so that was here at 1030. We were testing up into it and they were interested sellers. Look at them all lined up here. So let me let me cover this. All right. So uh, these areas of the high liquidity here, we um, you, you see the numbers. OK. In this window here, this is also the current market, okay? Best bid and offer right here, and, and then the last traded uh, uh, volume here. Um, so the um, the current market window, uh, we paint the liquidity uh, uh, with the heat map. So areas of high liquidity, like 1,650 contracts here at 94, uh, is bright white. That's because it's the highest area in the book. Right? When you see this grayscale change, that is the adding and pulling of liquidity. Okay, these numbers change; the grayscale uh, heat map will change. Okay, where this really gets interesting and useful is all of this data here in the current market window is projected onto the chart historically. Okay, so look at these striations in this area here. Okay, in the heat map, that is the adding and pulling of liquidity. And uh, where uh, this can be really helpful is it gives us insight to the intent of these traders here uh, at 93 and three quarters, okay? How interested are they in trading at this level? Okay, is it fake liquidity? Do they, do they uh, really don't want to trade or do they stay in the book uh, because they do want to trade, okay? Well, we'll find out and we're coming up to test them uh, here right now. Let's see if we can, uh, uh, get uh, get back up into this area here. All right, um, and um, uh, we'll we'll see. We can gauge it. Uh, and uh, what about the areas around it? Okay. Well, these guys are pulling here uh, at 94. They seem pretty interested, right? Uh, we can see that uh, uh, they're staying in the book. They're also staying in the book a bit higher. Okay. So to be honest, uh, this is actually showing um, in, in uh, just reading the uh, intent of these traders, they're staying up here. If they really wanted to sell, they would be offering lower. Okay. Or the, and they would stay in the book. They wouldn't pull here at this 93 and three quarters. That's giving us insight to these levels. Okay. In the auction. Okay. That's how Bookmap can help you here. Uh, and um, uh, this is showing uh, kind of kind of bullish behavior at the moment. Uh, and um, look at them bidding up here um, uh, on the bid. Okay, they weren't in here earlier. They were actually here, and then they pulled, okay? and then they came back in here now. Uh, well, right here basically. Uh, and then uh, as price moved away, they even jumped in with more liquidity. Okay, and we're channeling now between these two areas of high liquidity. Okay. That's where the market can sell. Uh, the majority of them are up here, and where they're, they're where there's buyers down here at 91 and a half. And let's zoom in a little bit. Okay, so uh, uh, now we uh, have the commitment of these traders. We can see them here with the volume, uh, but we can also start to understand the um, uh, the intent of the traders in the limit order book in the auction and we can read the auction. Okay, any questions? All right, so I'm keying in on uh, something here very particular, uh, to be honest. Now I'm gonna right click in this column here because I, I uh, was demoing this the other day 
and I didn't uh, reset it back. I've split out the aggressive volume here. This is a volume column, and it's for the chart range here. Okay, so if I zoom in, note how the the volume column reflects the data here uh, within the chart range. And let's take off our candlestick at this point. Okay. Uh, so, and that's good. I like to see that the the that's the current or, or chart range volume profile. Then the SVP is the session range volume profile. Okay, this is from when I opened up my book map. All right, so uh, I like having two. This is the way I've set it up. You guys can set it up any way you like, and let me show you how. Uh, right click here, and uh, you can format the column. Let's choose that. And you have all these different options. You can show a VWAP line, which is this white line. Uh, show the bid or the offer or and or one or the other. You can show it as bars only. Uh, you can show it as bars and numbers, or you can just show numbers. Okay, I like it as bars and numbers for my CVP. And uh, here's where the data has been split out. Okay, because we have the aggressor, so we know uh, what it is. I want to look at it as a profile. So I'll uh, deselect that, and then you can see that uh, I can also align it in different ways. I'll align it to the left uh, and click close. Okay, now let's zoom out a little bit. Okay. Uh, so uh, uh, now I have that uh, uh, volume profile here for this chart range of volume. Okay, and I can start to uh, play or understand and build strategies of uh, the volume in my chart range versus my session range. Okay, overall, there's the, the VWAP overall here as well, and you can see the volume uh, profile here uh, for that for that session. Okay, all right, so uh, still has a, you can see that it uh, has a, a bit of a slant to the uh, to the upside in terms of the profile, uh, but uh, uh, there is a little more selling starting to come in here, so we're kind of that's why we're kind of basing sideways, uh, and that's what that's what it looks like to me. Okay, now what about um, uh, this uh, acceptance? This is where we're battling right now uh, in the order flow. Okay, let me uh, oops, let me click on the uh, drawing tool, and I'll show you. Here's our micro structure. Here's where they hit the bid. And we're coming back up to test these guys. This is where it dropped from. Okay, are the sellers still here? Well, we can answer that question emphatically. Okay, at the moment they are not. Right. So next area of liquidity is 94. Okay. So this breakdown here uh, is not being supported by the sellers. Okay. If they were interested in selling again, this is where they would line up, most likely. I would I would anticipate them to line up and support maybe even here, right? Because that's where we we see the uh, the sellers engaged. Well, that's not that that's not the case. Um, the, uh, uh, the 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 sellers are well. We see some selling just coming in right now. Okay, so uh, uh, they are they are still here. Uh, there's some selling involved here. Okay, so. Um, uh, they're gonna. They're, it looks like they are kind of supporting this area at the moment. Okay, they just just jumped in. All right. What we need to do is we need to see a volume and acceptance above this ninety and a uh, ninety-three and a quarter. Okay. So this is this is the um, more advanced um, uh, type of analysis we do. Uh, starting uh, right now, to be honest, I need to uh, to end this webinar and then uh, jump into the uh, the next. Now, some of you are here uh, in the uh, platform details webinar, and you are in trial, so you can jump right into the next uh, next webinar. Okay, so uh, just click on that link uh, to get there, and uh, we'll we'll see you over there. Okay. All right, guys. Yeah, take care.